Light one up. Let me bum a smoke. I'm coming down, straight dripping throw. I got another man's blood on my shoe. In my dark times. Yeah, this story is about uh, being in your dark times, I guess. Uh, and that was a little uh, ditty by Ed Sheeran in the weekend. <laughs> I'm a shit singer, I know, but who cares? This is the Bonjo show. I can shit sing if I want. Uh, yeah, this is about dark times and uh, trying to get out of them, I guess. Whew. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share, boys. And let's get into it. Boom. This is Bon Jo Show. This is not your show. I tried it the 905 4 g o o This is Bon Jo Show. Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody goes through their downs and ups. That's what makes life special and unique. And that's what drives uh, our goals, I think, right? Um, for a while there, it felt like God was playing Mortal Kombat with my life, you know? And he was just fucking, he was doing a combo, but he just kept pressing down, 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 never fucking up, you know? <clears throat> so, it got me, got me fucked up. And uh, that dark artist came and fucking painted my whole dream with fucking cocaine, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but, uh, fuck, I shook that kinda. Well, not kinda, I did shake it. For a while there, I was fucking, I was fucking hateable. I was a douche, I was like fucking ripping everybody off. <clears throat> not stealing anything, not like robbing it. Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> uh, just down so i needed something to ex help me escape right i think everybody goes through this whether it be booze gambling fucking whatever escorts whatever you guys do mine just happened to be partying hard and um yeah i remember i recall fucking i recall like late in the december everything was just spiraling down i was depressed with my whole situation and um I did like 40 grand up my nose, <laughs> easy, right? And uh, I remember calling just fucking, just like a buddy over and a couple fucking escorts over just to do fucking, just to party with, not even like nothing sexual, just so I didn't feel fucking that sad. <laughs> but no matter what, on that calm down late at night, fuck, that's when it's the worst. That's when it hits you the worst. That's why everybody needs to chase, that's, that's what they call chasing the dragon. Cause you start feeling bad about it, and you're like, "Fuck it, yeah, I need to get up again, right? I need to do something. I need to, I need to get another hit of me." <clears throat> I mean, I was, I was only, I wasn't really like fucking. I never did any other, any other th thing besides coke, though. So, I mean, but that's still fucking terrible, guys. Kids don't do drugs. Drugs are bad, unless you can handle it, and it's fun. <laughs> I'm joking, but um, <clears throat> yeah. Depression's a son of a bitch, and that's why I started using because I was so annoyed with how I was letting somebody treat me, uh, my job situation. I hated my job. I couldn't believe that. Out of everything that I had, all the opportunities I had, I chose and stuck with National Steel Car. No offense to that place, but it's like any hillbilly and any fucking scumbag that gets released from jail. <laughs> can work there you know and there's a lot of smart guys I know there and they feel the same way but sometimes that's a card you get dealt with and uh, I hated the cards I got dealt with but um, I was fortunate enough to make a change in my life which a lot of people probably can't say that right <clears throat> sometimes you need that that Joey Crocker in your life you know what I mean you need that fuck yeah, or the Beatles or whoever the fuck sings that song you know uh, if I had a little help with my friends you know fuck that that's what I needed and I got I made a big change and now I'm look at over my shoulder boys that's just the view over my shoulder <clears throat> and I escaped all that but my reality was dark as fuck bro I was just a fucking I was just like a little fucking ray of light a little ray of light was fucking this dream shine sitting on top of my fucking dark reality and uh Little, I know a little bit that light broke. I mean that little hole broke where the light was to shine through. Now it's all fucking. Now it's the sun, boy. And look at me. I'm tanning for the gram. 
get in shape, uh, have goals. The big thing to get out of depression, I find, is sure, drugs and alcohol and fucking doing shit that keeps your mind busy and keeps your mind in a different space, sure, it only works for a little bit. And it doesn't work at all because come down and the next day you feel like shit, trust me, I've been through it all, right? I went to strip clubs to help the fucking, to help ease the hangover. Never worked really. <clears throat> just sad. It just saddens your whole. Unless, it's, unless of course you're just a fucking scumbag and you like that shit, and you're and you're comfortable with that your whole life. <laughs> and that day, hey, that's cool too. I don't mind that. I don't mind people at party. I can still be around that shit. <clears throat> but like, to change, it's like you gotta you gotta start off small. First, you gotta set a date. And it doesn't matter if you if you reach that date if you if you keep like relapsing like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna start i'm gonna quit and then you fucking relapse and i'm gonna quit and i'm gonna relapse it doesn't matter at least you have a date set you know that's a huge thing it's because sooner or later your body it's like a it's like a clock inside you an eternal clock that sooner or later your body will get sick and tired of it if, if you actually feel like you want a date it doesn't matter don't get discouraged if you relapse the first fucking 10 20 times it doesn't matter as long as you have a date and a goal first you gotta start off with a goal goal is major important <clears throat> and then you gotta wanna wanna do something like I, I remember just sitting in my room for months not doing anything not like I didn't want to go to work like I, you can ask everybody I work with I hate I, I was barely there for like the last two years I worked there I hated it right but um it was because I was depressed and um I'd sit in my room and fucking just sit there and fucking sleep for fucking 12 hours and then get up and watch YouTube videos. And that's it. And just live in the shadows for fucking almost two years I lived in the shadows. Just super depressed. Had no goals. Didn't want to watch sport. Like, I like sports music. Uh, especially like Arsenal, Leafs, fucking Raptors. I love all that shit, right? And it's, all, and it's like... Um, I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't even want to watch that shit. I didn't even want to... I was just watching shit that warps your mind, like conspiracy theories or <clears throat> why people suck or fucking, you know, shit like that. Just something that... Because you can... I'm Honestly, guys, you can Google anything that sways your opinion to whatever side you your brain wants you to do. So if you're saying like, oh, I want to see... I want to prove that Donald Trump's a good guy. There's something on the internet that'll prove that Donald Trump's a good guy. If you want to be like, oh, Donald, I want to see how fucking rotten of a piece of shit Donald Trump is. You can also sway your opinion to see how big of a piece of shit he is. Because everything on the internet, th that's how, the, like, especially don't go to the internet because that, that's how it is. Like, I remember I do self there like, kind of, like, I never, and, and I guess some people need to go to, like, AA and shit, too. It wasn't for me. I know I never went to that. I don't believe in it. I, th I think you're just exchanging addictions because they see that you're an addict. So they instead of, but it's good because at least you're. In, they change your addiction to drugs or whatever, to God and religion, which is good for some people, I guess. But for me, I I, I like self therapy where, where, when you get fucked up, <clears throat> you write all your, all your fucking thoughts, of. of uh, of what you're thinking the night of being fucked up. So when you're fucked up, <clears throat> late at night coming down, you write everything, every thought. Whether it be in a song format, a poem, uh, a movie script, just fucking dialogue, anything. doesn't matter. And then you read it back the next day or take a video of yourself and talk to yourself to the camera and then watch your video back. <clears throat> and if that shit don't make you cry, then fuck, bro, you don't want to quit. <laughs> Because uh, I'm telling you, you think some fucked up shit. And, uh, and it's sad to watch yourself deteriorate like that. <clears throat> and uh, that should help you. That should be enough for a change. And if it isn't, my man, he might be too far gone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. It's crazy. Depression's a son of a bitch. I got through it. I just, I just changed my whole life. Changed the people around me. And I set goals in my life. Little goals, like... Oh, I'm going to start walking, or I'm going to watch a TV show, or I'm going to start having a hobby again. <clears throat> now I build shit out of wood. I fucking go for hikes. I work out. I bought a bike. I bought a computer. I bought a, a scooter. <clears throat> like, all these things. Moved to Croatia. Got the fuck out of my... Like, I changed the... 
change my scenery too that's huge too and don't blame i'm not blaming on anybody or anything i would never give them that credit but you got to start off with the people around you and uh, your environment that's huge in depression and uh if i can shake it motherfucker i was i spent more my fuck i spent more in partying than you guys ever fucking make but <laughs> you know? so i mean i got through it so you can but i was only i was only fucked up for like I only started when I was like 30 something, so. And now I'm only 35 now, so I mean, I didn't do it for long, but I, I did it long enough. And uh, if I can shake it, you guys can shake it. Just shake it off like Taylor Swift, bro. And that's it. <clears throat> and there's a little depression in it. And uh, if anybody ever needs help talking about their feelings or getting shit off their chest, fucking DM me. Hit me on my Instagram at this is Bunjo. And, uh, Whatever, we'll chat it up, boys. And thanks for listening. Don't forget to click like, subscribe. And uh, always share, 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 share. And send in videos of uh, your experience through depression or whatever. Just any, any experience, any stories you got. Thanks. <clears throat> and if you guys uh, have anybody that you know going through it, I suggest you uh, help them and support them because they just want to kind of people just need to know that they still matter and shit matters and uh don't be a coward and take the easy way out and just ignore them from your life because they're bad that's not the right move boys like don't don't pretend you're friends with them and then not hang out with them just because they're going through some tough times help them out be a real friend that's why beth salas hooker and my mom and my sister and all that and my brother those guys like those guys were good those guys helped me and they cared and special thanks to them i guess <laughs> and that's it and bang bang i hope you guys like this fucking content i don't know i'm trying out here you know that's why i need you guys to fucking click like and subscribe boys and fucking share man damn see they're not all fucked up stories some are real aren't they well, they're all real, but I mean, some are real, like genuine, like nice and fucking wholesome. I'm not always just about the controversy, that uh, shock value shit. But I mean, most of my stories in my life were fucking crazy, so. <laughs> I don't know, and funny. I always, my whole motto in life was uh, always, uh, always make a story out of it that's fucking, that you can tell someone that. That's fucking unique and funny. Always make a memory. And I live I live life by the moment. And so in that moment, I make that a memory. Because memories is all you have. This shirt, Fresh Eagle Kid. I won't have that in five years. I'll have my memories though. You know what I mean? I had a Mercedes Benz. I don't have that anymore. But I have the memories of it. And that's all that matters. So stay strong. And always exercise your mind. And uh, pay attention to everything, but believe nothing. And adios, amigos. Woo, this is Bunjo, and I'm out.